So welcome to my second weekly reading vlog. This one is going to be a little bit different because I'm not doing a readathon this week. This is just a regular reading week. Nothing really planned. I just work and that's about it. It's technically still booktubeathon because it's about 11.30ish on Sunday night but I am about to go to bed actually. I just did a ton of editing and really I should be editing more and like cleaning my room and stuff but I have been really good with keeping my sleeping schedule like a normal human being because usually I would stay up really 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 late and read and then get up really late so I'm trying to go to bed earlier and then get up earlier especially since I work tomorrow in the morning I want to try and keep my sleeping schedule so I'm just going to go to bed I'm going to read a little bit more of my current read which is where even is it I have books all over the place in my room right now which is really bad Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde so that's what I'm starting off my week with I'm about 120 pages in and I'm hoping to get a little bit more done before I go to bed because that is nice and relaxing before bed so good night from Ella who's on the chair you can hardly see her and myself because it is bedtime and hopefully this will be another good reading week but I need to get some rest first good morning so it is Monday morning yay I have been up since nine and I've actually had a really productive morning I was able to finish the editing for my July wrap-up that I didn't get done last night so that is currently uploading so that will be going up on time unfortunately my booktubeathon vlog is not going to be going up on time because I have a ton of footage for it. Once I come home from work, I'm going to finish that. I'm working from 10.30 until 3.30 today, so it's gonna be good times, but then I don't have a ride until like 4.45, so I'm just going to sit in the back room reading until I have a ride. So my current read is Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. I think I mentioned that last night, but I am slowly but surely making my way through this. I also am listening to the audiobook for A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I am a little bit more than halfway through part one of it, so I would say I'm about a quarter of the way through which is awesome I've been doing well with that I haven't been enjoying it so much I find it to be very predictable and for me if a book is predictable that means it's super predictable because I never really predict anything so I don't know we'll see how that goes but for now Queens of Geek is my focus I have to go to work now so I'm just gonna read a little bit of this before work and I will update you when I get back bye so I am still working on my book tube on vlog that I had wanted to go up hours ago but I have an hour of footage that I want to compile down to to 20 to 30 minutes so this is going to be a challenge and it's going to take me quite a while but I'm working on that. I after work I went to Tim Hortons and I read for a little bit so Queens of Geek. I am 187 pages in so this I should probably be able to finish today because I don't have very much left which is exciting. I started watching Girl Boss on Netflix last night and I watched a couple of episodes right before bed like I went to bed very late last night didn't end up reading anything before bed but I'm really enjoying Girl Boss which is a problem because that takes out of my reading time but hopefully I will find a nice harmony for now I'm going to go and edit this and then go driving and I will update you later in the evening so I'm still editing my book to vlog it is currently I believe it's 10 20 yeah 10 20 p.m. and still working on this it is taking me literally forever so I haven't read anything because I have just been doing this oh look a cat hi oh falling cat she's fine okay so I still have to clean my room and everything so I just have not read so like that's fine my life is a nightmare right now it is fine okay it's actually not that bad I'm just low-key stressing because she's stepping on my keyboard and this isn't done yet so I'm going to try and finish it she wants to play with the string why are you sabotaging everything about my life right now please tell me why This little kitten needs to go to bed. And I need to go to bed too, but I'm not working tomorrow until 5.15, which is kind of nice. So, yay! So, I'm going to read for bed because I do want to get Queen's a Geek done. Oh, hello! So, I'm going to try and do that. So, okay. And I'm editing oh, she pressed play. And also cool, so I'm going to go and finish this vlog. Bye! Look at this little gem! So my booktubeathon vlog is finally exporting. It's almost 11 o'clock and I finally finished it. So now all I have to do for it, she's just so cute, the cute little editing buddy. So now all I have to do for it is make a thumbnail and then schedule it. I might just have it go live now. I'm not really too sure yet what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'm planning on reading Queens of Geek while I upload it, hopefully, so I can make a little bit of a dent in it before I went to bed. What I've discovered from editing that is that I babble and ramble and repeat myself a lot when vlogging so it was a good kind of trial run it's like half an hour long which is longer than I wanted it to be 
already but I'm hoping that now that I realize those are the mistakes that I make that I will be able to rectify them in future reading vlogs. The absolute sweetest. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone. It is currently two o'clock. I ended up staying up very late last night between watching Girl Boss and Netflix because I'm kind of obsessed with it. And then I also was able to finish Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde, which I'm very excited about. I'll obviously talk about it more in my August wrap up at the end of the month, but I felt like my expectations were just very high for it and I was let down a little bit. It had lots of diversity, lots of social justice issues going for it, but the story was lacking and really the writing overall wasn't spectacular. It just was bleh other than the fact that it covered so many important issues in a really great way. So it was a three out of five stars for me, which is average. Nothing spectacular, which I was expecting it to be since so many people had given a high rating, but oh well. Anyways, I'm not sure what I'm going to move on to next. I got up at 10 this morning and this is my second coffee of the day because I would not make it until 2 p.m. with only one coffee. I work at 5.15 until 9.15 tonight, so I have a closing shift. So it's a pretty good day. Like I've gotten lots of stuff done. I was able to get my August TBR edited, which I'm very excited about. I was able to get that done earlier than I was expecting, which is awesome. I was going to film some reviews today, but I just feel lazy. I feel like I just don't want to put on makeup. I want to keep my hair just in a ponytail. I want to wear a t-shirt and I just want to kind of sit around. So I'm kind of being a bit lazy today, but I haven't picked up a book yet today, which is, ooh, I should be picking up a book. I haven't even been listening to an audiobook because like I said, girl boss obsessed. So I think I'm going to pick up another contemporary because I was going to pick up Roar by Cora Carmack. I'm just gonna put my coffee down but as you guys will see in my August TBR I have this kind of whole plan leading up to me reading Wonder Woman and A Court of Wings and Rune. It makes no sense to anyone except for me but I was going to start off with Roar but the font in this is absolutely tiny. Like it is tiny 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 and I don't think I'm ready for a fantasy with super tiny font and on further inspection I don't think I'm really ready for a fantasy yet. I want to get a lot of the contemporaries, the cute fluffy ones that I love reading in the summertime. I want to get them off of my TBRs. So right now I'm deciding between these four. So Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith, The Film Boyfriend by Casey West, Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, and The Romantics by Leah Conan. So I think I might go and read either the first page or the first chapter to each of these and see whichever one grabs me I will end up reading. And that will take me the next little bit because I've gotten a lot done so I feel like I can reward myself now. So that's what's gonna happen. I have not vlogged in forever. It is Wednesday and I don't even remember if I actually ended up vlogging yesterday. I believe I did but I have not read anything since I read Queens of Geek, but today I went shopping, which I'm very excited about. So I'm lucky enough to be working with Chapters Indigo for this month's book haul, which I'm so excited about because they're my favorite bookstore in the world. It's where I work, but like totally unbiased even before I worked there, my absolute favorite. So I'm very excited to be working with them this month. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys some of the books that I got. I will be including them in my book haul, which will be coming out in the middle of August. But today I actually went shopping and I'm only going to be showing you guys the books that I haven't read yet that I got because I did pick up a few books that I've already read but let's just dive on into these bags because I want to put them on my shelves. So I just double checked and my book haul is going up on the 14th so if you want to know more about any of these books then you can go and watch that but the first book that I got is Everything That Makes You by Mariah McStay. Then next I got The Loose, End Li the Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone and finally for this bag I picked up, this is such a struggle, Iron Cast by Destiny. Soraya. And moving on to the second bag, I first of all picked up A Million Junes by Emily Henry, and secondly, The Novice by Taryn Matthew Matharu. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And finally, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, which is very heavy. So these are kind of the books that I'm choosing from right now for what I want to read. I do have a bunch of books on my TBR that have been there for a while, obviously, but I'm just not really feeling any of them right now, so I think I may choose from one of these. I'm thinking right now now a million Junes is seeming like the most appealing at the moment. I think it's a magical realism and I'm kind of in a situation right now where I don't know if I'm in the mood for fantasy or if I'm in the mood for contemporary. So magical realism is kind of the perfect mix. So I think this might be the one that I'm going to go with, but I don't know. Hello, happy Thursday. So it is almost noon, 11.48, and I have been working like a dog since I got up. I got up 
but 9 30 because once again I kind of had trouble falling asleep but now I have showered and I'm waiting for my hair to dry so then I can film but I had a little change in plans in what I was going to film because I realized that the video that I was going to film one of the two videos I was going to film I had done kind of recently and I had been talking about a lot of the books that I was going to include in recent videos so I'm saving that for another day but now I am planning out my September videos I responded to emails this morning like I am on fire and the whole time I've been doing this I have been listening to a thousand pieces of you on audiobooks so I am about 267 pages in and it's like 358 pages so I am making my way through this pretty quickly it's okay it's very much like old style YA which I'm not really into at the moment before starting this I hadn't realized but I haven't really read a book where it's had like a love triangle or any of those really tropey things recently and this is just like rife with tropes so right now I'm kind of like eh about it it's good but like it's very average I feel like it's something that I've read before so it's like three stars so far and I feel like that's what my rating will be but it's a like solid audiobook and as you guys know I'm making my way through a million June so I was able to read up to page 30 last night before I went to bed and I am enjoying it it's super weird which is kind of cool but I'm really happy because I'm starting to get excited about my TBR again I have been terrible with reading the arcs that I have recently so I actually ended up mixing in the arcs into my TBR shelf so then that will kind of motivate me a little bit more so you can see we have Wonder Woman here there's Wild Beauty is over here that one's an arc and then there's one more right here Midnight Dance and then Umberland actually is one that came out in May and I just have it on there now but I'm really starting to get quite excited about my TBR again which is good because sometimes I just feel blah about it but I'm going to go back to planning videos I'm going to at some point do my makeup for filming and it's gonna be a great day we are gonna get stuff done today that's what we do on our days off we get YouTube stuff done but that's fine hopefully I will have more time for actually reading a million Junes later because I do want to get a fair amount done of this but I'm gonna go and continue to be productive yo what is up I am just about to get ready to film I never get ready here actually like sometimes I do but I don't generally because I like to sit a lot but I've been sitting at my computer all day so I was like you know what we can stand because then I'm gonna be sitting when I'm filming so standing woo but I just finished a thousand pieces of you by Claudia Gray and interesting feelings on it I talked about it a lot on my Goodreads review so if you want to go and check that out my link to my Goodreads is down below but basically this was just not for me it was very much like classic YA with being very predictable it's what people think of when they think of YA without having read a lot of YA so kind of like the Twilight sort of thing love triangle insta love all that stuff so it was good because it had a sci-fi element going for it which kind of set it apart from some others but it still kind of felt like the same framework for a lot of books that I've read but it was just different story so I gave it 2.5 out of 5 stars so my audiobook is done which I'm excited about now I am planning on I think moving on to Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner I have been meaning to finish it's called the Starbound is it yeah Starbound trilogy I've been meaning to finish it for a while now so I figured why not I've listened to the other two on audiobook and I really enjoyed them so now I'm going to be moving on to this one but for now I'm just going to get ready and suddenly I look like a human again so I'm just about to start filming but I was listening to their fractured light as I was getting ready and let me tell you this book has like the creepiest opening passage I was not a fan because like I'm home alone and it's creepy the narrator that they use for that part has like this raspy voice and is the creepiest thing ever in the audiobook he's terrifying so anyways I'm enjoying it so far I'm not very far in it gets right into the action though which is kind of nice but now I'm going to go and film so I will talk to you after when I've read some more yay this is like my favorite filming location because it's in front of the window so the lighting's pretty good and I'm right next to my computer so I can multitask so get used to this location but I have not read anything yet today other than like listening to audiobooks what I mean is I haven't actually read a million Junes which is really sad I'm importing the footage because I'm done filming and I think I'm going to start editing because I still have to edit this vlog actually I have to start editing it this week's vlog haven't done that yet I only ended up filming two videos because I was going to try and get some reviews done but I just feel like I'm in a review rut like I want to kind of revamp my reviews I did revamp the style of them but I want to give them like a new name that kind of reflects that I don't know if you guys have any ideas 
ideas for what I can call them, please let me know down below because I just, I want to do them again, but I just don't feel motivated because book review sounds so unexciting and it's more like a book discussion, but book discussion also sounds unexciting. So I don't really know what I'm going to call them, book babble. I don't know. I sat there literally as I was about to film a review for I See London, I See France. I sat there for five minutes trying to think of a name for it before I just turned off the camera and I was like, I'll do it another day. But now I'm going to get editing. My room is already clean after filming. Look at that. I mean, there's like just a book and laptop on my bed, but normally my bed is a mess after filming and my whole room is, but I cleaned it up right away. So yay me. But now I'm going to let this footage import. Maybe I'll read while I'm importing footage. Yeah, I'm going to go and do that. So I'm going to stop talking to you now. Okay, bye. What's up? It is 11 p.m. and I am very tired. My hair is crazy. I'm about to go to bed and my hair is just a mess hair. I have been editing this vlog actually, the footage that I have so far, working on that. I was supposed to do a few things tonight. So I was supposed to read a little bit more of A Million Junes, but I only got to page 42. I believe that's like seven or eight or maybe 10 pages from where I was when I last updated you. But I also picked back up the novel writing handbook because I really wanted to revisit my project today and I'm trying to kind of find a fine balance between writing and reading and I was going back to my project and like I feel really confident about it but then I also was like I don't feel the most confident about it so I wanted to kind of read this a little bit. I think it might help me out. So I'm on like I believe it's the second essay right now. Yeah I'm just on the second essay but ideally I would like to read like an essay a day and I should be able to get a good chunk of this done. This vlog already has a lot of footage so I'm gonna stop talking now and go to bed. Okay, good night. Look who came for a visit. Say hi, Jackson. It's my favorite baby boy. You are the absolute cutest. My literal hero. Did you see his face change? And that is because look who else came. Hey, little girl. This could be bad. Nope. He's just disengaging from the situation. Oh, yeah, baby. Goodbye, buddy. I miss you. Goodbye. Now look at them. They're sitting like they're in line for something. Oh, and she's gone. Goodbye. Good morning. Happy Friday. So it is about 10 in the morning and I am working at 12.15. So I don't really have anything to do before work. I'm just going to kind of take it as reading time. So I woke up to a lovely coffee waiting for me, which is like the best ever. So thank you, dad, for that. But now I am just reading A Million Junes. I am on page 63 and I just plan on reading for the rest of the morning. That's what the rustling noise is, by the way. She loves the packing that came with my ring light. I got a package today. I tried to pull the pull tab while vlogging, but that didn't work well. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm also liable to literally shave my head right now because my hair is driving me nuts. There we go. All the righty roo. So I got three books. They're actually kind of color coordinated. Well, two of them are, the one is not, but and I Darken by Kirsten White. And then Phantom Limbs by Paula Garner. This was very cheap, as you can see. It was six bucks, so that is awesome. I'm very excited about that. I've heard amazing things about this book. And the final book that I got is Words in the Deep Blue by Kath Crowley, which honestly, just intrigued by the cover. It's super small and stuff, so I was like, cool, I'm gonna get it. See, the thing about buying books is that it puts me in the mood to buy more books, and now I want to go and buy more books, but I can't. And I must resist. Okay, bye. I am very torn right now. So it is 12 in the morning and I am making my way through this. But at the same time, I kind of feel like seeing if I can find something to watch on Netflix, then I can just veg. But I really want to read because I'm really liking it. Do you ever have this struggle? Because it is a real struggle. But I'm going to try and force myself to read. <laughs> out of my 
my face to do so, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on what's going on. So I am multitasking at the moment. So my main focus right now has been A Million Junes. I have been kind of devouring this. I'm on page 200, 205 right now, and I have been going crazy with that one. I haven't even listened to my audiobook in a long time. I don't even know where I am on that one. I am an hour and 42 minutes into their fractured light, so not doing too well with my audiobook or my novel writing handbook. I have hardly been reading that because it has literally just been a million Junes. I have been really enjoying it. Like, I'm surprised by how much I'm liking it, but I like her writing style a lot. This is my first book that I'm reading by her, and it's really good so far, so I'm looking forward to getting a little bit more into that. I had big plans for today, but I completely forgot that I have a family function tonight. So I work 2.30 to 6.30. It's like 1.30 right now, so I'm just getting ready for work. And then right after work, I'm going straight to a family function. So I was going to film some unboxings because I have a couple of unboxings that I haven't done, but clearly that's not going to happen. I've been reading and then editing my cover changes video, but my cover changes video is taking me forever to edit because I have to like add cover overlays. It just takes a lot longer than other videos that I do. So that's kind of annoying and taking me a while and I've been putting that off, but it's supposed to be going up on Monday. So I do really need to get that one done. And then I also need to find time to film two other videos or at least one other video since I have family over at the end of next week. So I don't know how vlogging is going to go because I mean, if family's over, I'm not really comfortable vlogging, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just talk to myself in my room because that's usually where I vlog anyways. Sorry, I had to finish my makeup not talking because there's certain things I can't do while talking and eyeliner and mascara and also lipstick is one of them. So I did that. Now I am ready to conquer the world. Just kidding. But honestly, I just am at a point right now where I'm like, there are not enough hours in the day to accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish because I want to write, I want to read, and I want to be able to do both of them. But then I want to also just be able to relax. Where is all the time? So I'm going to go and finish getting ready and figure out what the heck to do with this mane of hair that is not curly, but not wavy either. It's like in between. What do I do with this? I'm going to go and try and figure that out. What's up? So I have not vlogged since I vlogged a little bit yesterday. I also haven't really read anything. I think I got 20 more pages into A Million Junes since I last updated you, but I have been working on building Ikea stuff such as that little this square thing right here. <laughs> That's what I built. It's in my closet now. So I've been organizing my closet, cleaning up all the stuff that's on the floor and on my bed because of me moving the stuff that was originally in there. I also got some frames for my desk. I'm still not sure what I want to do with my desk because my desk isn't really big. So having the monitor, it takes up most of the space, but I just feel like it's really boring right now. So if you have any ideas for what I can do with my desk, please let me know. But tonight's plan is to finish a million Junes. I'll probably finish it really late, which kind of sucks. I wanted to get this vlog up not really late, but I feel like it'll be up pretty late. And unfortunately, I still have to finish editing tomorrow's video. So that kind of sucks, but I feel like I can get that done pretty quickly and then I will be able to read. So that's the plan and I'm gonna go and do it. So it is 11.57 p.m. on Sunday night and I just finished my last book of the week. So excited about it. So I was able to read a total of three books this week. So first off, I read Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde, which I ended up giving a three or 2.5 out of five stars. Then I finished listening to A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray on audiobook and I ended up giving this one a two out of five stars. And finally, I read A Million Junes by Emily Henry and I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I haven't actually rated it yet but I feel like it's a 4.5. So in terms of quantity I had a great reading week. I read three books. I think that's awesome. I'm very happy with that. But in terms of quality I did have a couple of lower rated books but this one was awesome. I did really enjoy it so that kind of makes up for it a little bit. So that is all for my reading vlog for this week. I hope you guys have been enjoying these. I'm going to be doing one next week as well. It's going to kind of become a regular thing as long as you guys are enjoying it and I'm enjoying it. But next week probably won't be a very long one because I'm super busy. I'm doing driver's ed and I have family over so it's just going to be a crazy crazy week. But let me know what you read this week and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go and edit and upload this now so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!